welcome back to another YouTube video. Today is Friday and it is a half day for me because um, Lyle and I are about to go to our florist, our wedding florist, and we're going to have an appointment just to make sure that, you know, everything's good, kind of finalize everything since we're getting so close to the wedding date now. But yeah, it's just gonna be a very typical, just like weekend in my life, living here or in New York. <clears throat> Tonight we're actually going to a Broadway show, um, which as a New Yorker you would think like that that's something that we would do all the time, but it's really not. It's still like a special kind of fun thing to do. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to do that tonight and then I have lots of fun things planned this weekend. I have my friend's jewelry launch. She's having like a launch party tomorrow night. I'm bringing some friends and just like other fun things are going to be going on this weekend. So yeah, can't wait. Saturday morning. Yesterday the uh, floors appointment went well. We hopefully got everything. There's actually a couple more things that I thought of after we left that I'm like, I need to call our florist back. Centerpiece looks great. They basically only had the centerpiece available and then we kind of discussed like the bridesmaids bouquets, um, like the ceremony, the ceremony flowers, the table centerpieces were what they made and what we looked like, what we looked at and we kind of tweaked a little bit. So that went well. We came back to the city and then we got dinner with um, Lyle's family before the Broadway show. It was his dad and his brother. We went to Burger and Lobster, which is a place I really like because lobster is my favorite food. I got the lobster salad and it was actually not bad. Um, and then we met up with Lyle's stepmom and we all went to the Broadway show. The Broadway show was called Tommy. It's like the Who's Tommy, which is like obviously a band, I'm sure. I don't need to explain any of that. Um, but it was really good, really, really good. Um, definitely a show for adults though, not for kids. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really well done. The music obviously was amazing and it was all around a really good night. So that was awesome. And then this morning I had a bit of an oopsie. So as you might can tell, I am in my workout clothes. I was about to run to a workout class, come back, and then hop on my vlog later. However, I, so I go to Equinox. I hate Equinox, but it just made the most sense. So anyways, I go to three different Equinoxes and that are all like within walking distance. And I went to the wrong one this morning. I was booked in for a class. It was heated Pilates and I woke up early. It's pouring rain. I'm like with my umbrella. And then I realized I went to the wrong location. So I quickly threw my sneakers back on, threw my jacket back on. I realized the location, the other location I was going to was so far that I would never make it in time walking or even running. Um, so I got an Uber, paid $9, well that's a cheap Uber, but you know, still, it was $9. Um, to get to the other Uber, I get inside right at 9.15 when the class is supposed to start, and I run up the stairs, there's three flights of stairs, I run all the way up, and there's a woman there with a clipboard, and she just looks at me and she goes, mm -mm. she's like, no, the class is closed. And she's like, I had to let the waitlist people in. And I'm like, no, 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 I'm not on the waitlist. I'm in the class, I'm booked in the class. And she's like, yeah, it's too bad. They were here early and they were waiting. So we let them in. So I felt really, I felt really dumb. And um, just, I don't know, just upset with myself for doing that. Um, 
and upset that I couldn't take my class because I'm on a roll with my classes lately. I have been trying to get in shape for the wedding and just like feel my best, like feel like my best self for the wedding day and that class would have just been so good. Um, however, as upset as I am, I'm trying to just swallow it, move on, like I'm trying to just <laughs> move on and just keep going forward and not think about that. So I'm like, I'm already up, I'm already in my workout clothes, I'm just going to put a workout class on the TV in my living room, do a workout class, Find I'll find something on YouTube, and then just go about with the rest of my day. But that was kind of a bummer. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you about, like, realistically, these things happen, but I'm pivoting and I'm going to make the most of it anyways. <laughs> so, here we go. workout now so I just did the workout I feel good I did a Tracy Anderson one which I've never done before I've heard good things about her workouts thought that I would try it she has one on YouTube for like Vogue Australia so I did it it was only maybe like 20 minutes long though so then I also did a 10 minute abs afterwards that I found like a random one and then a 10 minute arms afterwards that I found like a random one I felt like trans Tracy Anderson one did a good amount of legs so I didn't need an additional one but yeah I feel like <laughs> despite not being able to take the class I tried to make make the most of it and I'm moving on um, so I took a shower ate some breakfast and then now I thought I'd open some packages with you so um yeah I got a couple things it's from Revolve I think that this is a bikini bottom because I have a bikini top and they sent me the top and the bottom separately because I guess they were pre-order but they came in much sooner than they said that they would the estimated date which actually I found a couple times now on Revolve when it says pre-order expected to ship by and it's a month or two months in the future it actually ships like within a week so I wouldn't be so <laughs> worried about buying it and if it doesn't come in by the date that you need it by obviously you can just cancel your order so I don't know that's just a hack with revol revolve that I have found anyways they're little pink floral print scalloped bikini bottoms I really like need to get the reason why I'm buying bathing suits is because I really don't have many. I only have two right now that I that I own and that fit me now. Since I've lived in New York, I um, really haven't had that many opportunities to go swimming or to get in the water. Obviously, I live in like a concrete jungle. Like unless I decide to go to like a pool intentionally, I'm just I'm just not in the water as much. So I just haven't bought swimsuits for years but now that I'm going on my honeymoon I'm like okay I need to backtrack now I need swimsuits um so okay these are these look pretty small just holding them up not a lot of coverage in the back great for tanning um but we'll see I'm gonna try them on so yeah these are cute got the tag they're like I love a tiny little ditzy floral print. I just love tiny floral prints. It's just something in it. it makes my heart so happy. The scallop trim is cute. Let me show you the top as well. So I just still have it in the package because I wasn't a huge fan of the top when I tried it on. So it looks like this. The shape of it just kind of looks, I don't know, more like an actual bra rather than a swimsuit top it just and like the thickness of this and then getting smaller it just didn't look right but I thought let me give it a chance once the bottoms come in and I'm gonna try them both on together so <laughs> that's that I will leave everything linked in the description box by the way as always 
Okay, next is from Same. So, on my last vlog, I ordered a swimsuit from Same. I actually ordered two swimsuits. I ended up keeping the one piece, but returning the bikini, the two piece. The reason being because when I tried on the bikini, it was just a little bit small. So I ordered one size up and actually both the top and the bottoms. Maybe that just their swimsuits run small. This actually looks even small. Why is it every time I pull out a bikini, I'm like, this is so tiny. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is actually, this is supposed to be a size large because I got the medium last time, which is my normal size in, in tops. Yeah, it says, it says large on the sticker. So anyways, I don't know. You guys tell me this this barely looks like a large top. I think their sizing is just really small. Um it like didn't even cover like enough that it should cover last time because it's kind of like a a short sort of um top. So definitely not for like swimming, swimming, more for just like tanning and like not moving too much. But I, like I could have worn that but you know but with this one I'll see actually if it's better keep stuff organized with the bags in case I need to send stuff back and then again these are the bottoms I am never not a small in bottoms I like a small across the board in bottoms always I never get anything bigger um, but I got a medium in these bottoms and so yeah they just like they came down so low anyways whatever i'm gonna try them on but together this actually is a really cute swimsuit um like in the pictures on the model i like put it on my mood board i really want to make it work so yeah i'm gonna make it work all right and then the third and last package is from amazon this is a pair of earrings i believe yes it's gotta be because it's in this tiny little so uh-oh these are the earrings i really just wanted the gold ones but this came in the silver ones. They're so cheap from Amazon, but they're cute. They're just, you know, like this, a little bit more of a statement than I would usually go for, but I thought that they would be perfect with this dress that I got also from Revolve. It has a very low back and it's long sleeve and it's, I would say, yeah, a midi, midi to maxi length. This is like so perfect for a place like the Maldives or just any, you know, warm tropical vacation location. You can wear it over a bathing suit. I'm planning to more so wear it to dinner and then pair it with those gold earrings. So I'm just, I'm actually might just try that on real quick. <laughs> All right, so backing up, hopefully you can see this. So this is the dress that I'm talking about. It is so cute, so elegant, so just like sophisticated, like, I don't know just nice kind of vibes like I feel like the wedding and the honeymoon is kind of like you know coming into this like more elegant lady vibes um which I love so yeah this dress it's got like the ribbed details on it and this and then here it is with the earrings I actually think that these are really cute I would obviously do my hair a little nicer um but regardless yeah this this is it, much more of a statement than I usually wear for my jewelry, but I just felt like with the dress, it just needed a little something for the earrings, and that these were really cute. I am just wearing like a sticky a sticky bra with it, like sticky boobs, um, because the back is obviously totally open. This is just the tag, but uh, yeah, I feel like this is really cute, and this dress I could pair with either um, like a flat sandal. I feel like my Hermes Oran sandals, the white ones, would be really cute for this if I wanted a flat or totally could also maybe do more of like a, a heeled sandal as well um, but yeah I think this would just be so nice for like dinner in the Maldives okay so just grabbed out the sandals really quickly these are the ones that I'm talking about they're just flat and these are absolutely perfect with these I think what I would just style it with is I need to get more of like a fun colorful clutch bag I feel like that would be perfect. I Most of my bags are all more neutral to just <laughs> go with my neutral toned closet, which I love, but I think for the islands, you can kind of get a little bit more um, bright and fun colors. So I think like a colorful clutch would just be perfect with this. And uh, yeah, it's like a chic kind of island vibe. Okay, on second thought, I actually do think that this bikini is really cute. <laughs> so like, this is the top 
and it actually with the bottoms on and everything it was flattering i think it might have just been that i didn't like it at first because when i tried it on i was just like wearing a pair of pants and it just kind of felt like it didn't work but yeah with the bottoms i'm actually i think i'm gonna keep this i'm excited I all right, this is this is the other bathing suit from Same. I'm leaving all this everything linked down below. I honestly think that this top is smaller than the first one that I ordered. I don't understand the difference as to how this is a large versus that one was a medium because it is the same thing. If anything, this one is smaller. I'm not going to show the whole thing, <laughs> but but for reference, for this bathing suit, it is really cute. If you're going on a honeymoon, if you've got something planned, we're coming into spring and summer. Um, I actually think that this is a really cute swimsuit, um, but just know about the top that it's not like a full covered cup. It's like a half cup. <laughs> Forgot, but, because I already opened this this week, but I did also get this hat Amazon, and it's just like a regular kind of sun hat, just to, you know, protect your face. I kind of feel like it's a little bit too big for my head, but also like it is an oversized style, so I'm not like hundred percent sure I might return it and get another one because it really is just so big and I've even cinched it in on the inside I have kind of a small head so yeah I might get a different one but at least I know that the color kind of matches okay so I was just doing laundry sorry if you can hear it in the background and another package came in it is actually it's like a pouring rainy day outside so I'm like not going outside unless I have to like not until later when I'll need to be leaving the house um, so I'm just like staying inside, doing laundry, opening my packages, and just generally getting things done in my sweatshirt. This package is from Maj, and in my vlog last week, you might have seen me, well I assume it's from Maj, I haven't opened it yet. Yes. <laughs> so in my vlog last week, my last vlog, you might have seen the clip of me trying this on in the store. I absolutely fell in love with it. Perfect for beach vacation, perfect for Maldives honeymoon. This is gonna be like my one like big, like nice dress for like a nice dinner. And I actually am really excited about it. The only thing is that this tissue paper is wet. Like this is from the inside of the package and the tissue paper is wet. So that's kind of a bummer. Um, it is really coming down outside. So, you know. I'm sure that's why, but oh my goodness. So this ooh, <laughs> is the dress. It is a crochet dress from Maj and it has these, you can barely see them, but unless we get really up close, but tiny little pearl details within the crochet. And it has this really pretty back it's a high neck and then the back is kind of crisscross and it is a midi to maxi length so it's just oh it's a really beautiful dress i tried it on the store so i knew my size which was a size medium or a 38 i guess in the french sizing since this is a french company uh, so let, let's just put it on real quick i tried it on in the store but i want to make sure that this one still fits. Okay, so this is it. You might have caught it on the other vlog. It's just the tag. I couldn't figure out, I couldn't do the back of it up just like by myself. So the neckline, it isn't fully closed. So just <laughs> note that. But I just think it's a really elegant, like island vibe. Very just like sophisticated, classy, beautiful, stunning. Um, I think that this is Maja's dress of the year, actually. Um, but yeah, oh my goodness. I feel so good in this. I feel so comfortable in it. It's just so pretty. I don't know if I can give you, maybe if I stand on this, <laughs> you can see, yeah. Um, more of the full length view of it. But yeah, here it is. I love it. It's stunning. The details, the crochet, it's so well made. Like I can just tell that this is just a really nice quality dress. But I guess what I need to figure out is like what shoes that I would pair with it, what earrings, what bag. I'm kind of, because it is, it's sort of like an in-between. Like 
relaxed, casual, but also like done up, elegant vibe that I'm like, what type of shoes would I wear with it? In which direction would I go? Would I go more cool tone direction, warm tone direction? I, I do have like these shoes. These are like heeled sandals from Reformation. They're very comfortable to walk in because the heel is so chunky. And they're, what I like about them is that they're not like a gold gold. They're like more of a champagne lighter gold. So they're not as like flashy. And then earrings wise, I was kind of thinking of maybe finding like a white flower, either like a flat white flower stud or maybe something a little dingly. I'm gonna look around and see what I can find. But I thought that it would fun to do, be fun to do more of like a fun earring kind of moment with the dress. Obviously it doesn't need a necklace. Um, you know, maybe a bracelet or something, we'll see. And I feel like I can use one of my more neutral bags. I have three or four just like plain neutral, like little bags that I could use that would go great with this dress. Because I feel like with the, although it is a beige color with the crochet pattern, I just don't want to make it too busy because the dress is really the statement. So yeah, that's that. Sunday. Last night, the Bissette lunch party was so much fun. I am so excited and just happy for my friend Erica, who is the founder of this brand. She launched Bissette. Um, so that's where we went last night. I met up with my friend Jess. We went to dinner beforehand, like an early dinner at like six o'clock. And we went to Scarpetta. Really good, really good food, really good pasta, really good fish and then we just got like a quick gelato afterwards which was a nice little treat and then we went to the party and she just like all the little details she did everything so well it was diamonds and dice was the theme so there was like a blackjack table and a roulette table and you had like fake like beset bucks um like fake money and we just like you know played and then the more like chips that you had you could win a raffle ticket you put in the raffle to win a pair of diamond earrings so at the end of the night she raffled those off so that was really cool and like she had her jewelry there she had an open bar food charcuterie like she had tables and and a dj it was just so nice and it was so cool to just see someone who has worked so hard on something and like building her brand and I follow her her jewelry account as well of course you know which I'll put all all of her information down in the description box and on the screen definitely go follow her it's really just like an amazing brand she does she does lab grown diamonds and just like other jewelry pieces that are really nice um, and at a really good price for what they are they're super 
quality, but she doesn't have the insane markups that other big jewelry brands do. So, um, and of course we want to support other like women owned businesses, support Erica. Um, she is so sweet. She's actually, the reason why we met was because she was a subscriber of this channel and she reached out to me and we hung out a couple times and she was just really cool and nice. And now a couple years later, we're still friends and I met her launch party and it was just, honestly, it was so cool to see and I follow her personal account too and I've just like seen the whole behind the scenes of like her building everything and she's has just worked so hard like nights and weekends outside of her regular <laughs> 9 to 5 job to do all of this and it's just, it's really cool so obviously I want to support her. So anyways, yeah, the party was super fun, really happy for her. And uh, yeah, it was just an overall really good night last night. Got home, you know, kind of late, just went to bed. And then this morning I took a workout class and I have workout clothes back on now because we're going to go to another ballroom dancing class. So this will be our second class. We took a class two weekends ago and it's a ballroom dancing like for our first dance for our wedding. And I really like the teacher that's teaching it. I think it's good for like any song that you have it's not like putting together a full choreographed routine it has some flexibility of like you know if the band does it you know plays it shorter because obviously we're not gonna have an opportunity to practice it with the band ahead of time or just like anything that goes wrong it's not like we have to do this at this time and this at that time it's just like we know sort of a general like some moves that we can do and we can kind of choose when we're there when we want to do them so that's what i really like and that's what i wanted if anyone wants is in the market for like wedding ballroom dancing or classes anything like that just leave a comment or like dm me on instagram i'll give you this person's information but yeah we might also do like i might have my dad come down so we can practice for like our father daughter dance and like you know mother son dance they'll do and everything like that yeah just like getting totally wedding ready yeah that's the deal for today it's not until two it's about one o'clock right now so i might just like eat some lunch fold some laundry it's not raining out today it's actually pretty sunny and, and beautiful but it is very cold um i'd love to like have time to just like run to a couple places but i'm not sure maybe i'll do that when we get back from the class um we'll see how i'm feeling but yeah that's the sunday plan The dance class was good. We went, got, found, got a little bit further than we did in our last class. Learned some extra moves. Learned a lift, which will be really fun. Um, it's not like a big lift or anything like that. It's like a cute little lift. Um, so yeah, dance class was good. And then we stopped on the way back to get to pick up some stuff for dinner because we were like, hmm, what if we cooked this for dinner? So now we're making a whole dinner with like duck and mashed potatoes and carrots like roasted carrots so hopefully it'll be really good and I think if um, Lyle's brother can stop by maybe he will I'll have dinner with him and uh, yeah 
I feel like generally on like a Sunday or something I would go out maybe do some shopping just do some more things I just don't really feel in the mood to like go out and go shopping right now I just got a bunch of stuff I did my haul and also it's freezing it's actually freezing I'm even freezing just sitting here at home <laughs> I'm like a frozen popsicle it's just not the type of day maybe if you're going to a mall where it's inside but and this is all like outdoor shopping so it's just way too cold it's not not the day for it so I'm just gonna stay here I don't really have too much to share besides just making dinner um, and just kind of chilling at home I was just you know folding laundry stuff like that but that's you know the point of these vlogs is just realistically whatever I did over the weekend it's not meant to be like oh I'm filming so now I have to go do this when I wouldn't have already originally done that so this is just honestly my weekend. Sometimes they're longer, sometimes they're shorter, but I do feel like I've done a lot of fun things this weekend. I mean, like the Broadway show and the party and the dinner and um, the dancing. I feel like we all just kind of need a day to like chill for a little bit, have no plans, just kind of sit on the couch, like around the house, decompress before the work week starts again. So that's gonna be the rest of Sunday for me.